right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's remarkably silent this morning, which tells me that he thinks he probably owes his buddy Andy $5 because he's a dimwit and Andy's $5 richer, which, by the way, yesterday was a windfall for me because not only did I win $5 off you, I got $10 from digging out underneath my car seat. So I'm plus 15 so far, and it's only Tuesday. I got to say this, man. I... Not only do I owe you, oh, let's see, I got I got three dollars right no, here. No, 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 no. You plus had a wait, plus wait. This is this is this is legal tender. No. I owe you two dollars plus the three. <laughs> okay. But I Where's the five bill you though, had yesterday? I, I I well I, I spent a couple of dollars on uh on another one of those fruity beverages. Um I owe you an apology though. Ooh. Because not only I, – I called you a moron like two different times. I was so insistent that I was right on this. Yes. That I went above. Like I slammed you for well. your assertion that uh, that stymie – it was stymie and not stemmy. Not only was I wrong, it stemmed the tide, not stemmy the tide. Stymie is uh, – you know, I just got confused. Well. But stemmy isn't even a word. Not only was I wrong – I, I said a word that isn't actually a word. See? So that's that's all on me. I was as wrong as I've ever been on anything. Well. And uh, I apologize. Because I'll tell was, you what. I went overboard and slamming you, too. I didn't well, just, it's okay. I didn't I'm used to it. You. I was pissed because I was so sure I was right. <laughs> there, there are those like yourself, Dave, that have a smaller mind. And I, okay. that's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm used to being above that kind of behavior. Uh-huh. So for you to have lashed out and, and acted the way you did, <laughs> I'm cool. See, I get it. That's what happens when you're among the, among the, what, the pea brained, right, if you look, will. In my, okay. In my defense. Uh, now, now there can be no defense. defense. Wait, wait, wait. There's not much of a defense. I'm not saying this. This is not an excuse for my lashing out and calling you a moron when you were obviously right that it's stymie and not stemmy. Uh-huh. Okay, but the fact that it's stem the tide, and from stem it goes to stymie instead of stemmy, I don't think makes a whole lot of sense. But well, that's the English language for you. Then so, again, you, know, you took Elizabethan poetry wrong. and relaxation in college, so money but well spent. To, you know. To reiterate, I was wrong. You were wrong. And I apologize. You, okay, well, thank you very much, and let's never question my ultimate authority uh, well, when it comes oh, to land power not, again. Okay, Ever. let's not go that far, because I, I have a feeling Ever. we'll have... I, I, I have a feeling we may have some disagreements coming up, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, ready to get into it? Let's go. I'm just going to be right, thinking about my money. <laughs> Got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> Sorry. Getting done? down there for a minute. Right. 15 bucks, dude. I didn't even do anything for uh, it. You are just, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, still no word on what caused a helicopter to crash land on a skyscraper in New York on Monday. Tim McCormick crashed the chopper on top of a building on 7th Avenue just 11 minutes into his flight on Monday afternoon. The pilot was pronounced dead at the scene. Of course, Ooh. when I you see the headline come across your little you crawl freak. there, you know everybody thinks, ah, oh, it's another terrorist attack. It's this, well, it's that. I, to a degree, uh, um, but, but just then one helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, it's a weird thing. It's like, oh, it's a helicopter. Oh, it probably wasn't Islamic terrorism then. If it's a yeah. helicopter, I don't know why I was thinking that as soon as I found out it was a helicopter and not a plane. But, but, but it's a weird. It's enough to make you go like this. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah you yeah you start you start digging. Go oh, you, you get know, that little butt pucker going, going on. on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but fortunately. Uh, it's still obviously a tragic uh, accident, uh, this guy. This guy actually survived a previous – had to crash land uh, a previous aircraft like four or five years ago and walked wow. away from that. So, yeah. And, well, and you, know. and, you know, you would think if, if you're crash landing one, you might want to stay out of the next one. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to cast aspersions on his, uh, his flying ability. I just, you know – I don't know if he had a medical issue. I don't know what. I don't know what caused it, but uh, very sick. Can you imagine being in one of those in that building though, and all of a nope. sudden, boom! And no you're thanks. like, let's say you're on the, you know, you're you're on like, you know, the the twentieth floor, and you're thinking, I got to get out of here now yep. because the building's coming down. 
and every yeah you got uh, that had to have been a terrifying experience for everybody else there I can't you know that. and i and it may be coincidence i don't know but as just as the news was breaking and all that other kind of stuff you know what i saw i saw an ad pop up on facebook <clears throat> for one of those um executive parachutes oh i mean okay. it was it was it, it was within 20 minutes of that helicopter hitting really? that building on Facebook, up pops an ad for one of those executive parachutes in case you ever have to jump out of a building. Well, I, it seems like that that would have been something that would be commonplace now. Is it a coincidence, that, or did, did they do they see a target? Do they see something like that and then target an ad? I I would say you see something like that, you target the ad. Oh, this oh. happened. Let's get this out there. And honestly, it's. I don't necessarily have a problem with it because yeah. it gets you thinking. Um, but wow, yeah, I, I, yeah. You would think if if you've got a building higher than, you know, to, I mean, I don't know. Like, does it does it open up immediately when you jump out? I would yeah, think. I I don't know. That it's I I don't know. I see. I'm not. All, one of those, all I, I will say like, is is this is that anywhere. back back in the day uh, whenever there'd be an incident with an airplane or a helicopter or anything like that. They used to send over an order that said, pull all airplane ads. Now they throw them on. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So like, something like this happens, and all of a sudden you see a, a parachute ad to get you out of a high rise. Ooh. But do you remember, well, back going back to September 11th, I remember uh, being on the radio after huh? that in like all music references to airplay. Like we, we couldn't play a jet airliner. Oh, I know. Uh, from Steve Miller forever. Oh, cause, cause that, was, that's radio executives working hard. Yeah. For radio right executives there. going away. This is going to remind people of nine. You can't right. play TNT from uh, ACDC because yeah. that's going to make people think, uh, that, that's can't them play up John on their Denver's, feet working hard right there. Yeah. Yeah. Can't play John Denver's leaving on a jet plane. No, no, no. Oh. can't have that. Oh God. Executives are idiots. Which is shocking because they're executives. You wouldn't think that. Well, would be those case. who can't do end up being themselves. executives, you know. You but hey, Stick that's radio long enough and suck at it bad enough, they'll make you a manager. That's where that's where the Benjamins are. You notice I don't have any of those. I got a I got a Jefferson. Ooh, but uh, no Benjamin. Ooh. Very sad. University of Michigan is offering a course in bias and inaccurate reporting in the news media, specifically. When it comes to covering President Trump, news media ethics will explore the concept of fake news, how journalists cover it, claims by critics of uneth unethical behavior by the media, as well as a lack of uh, perspective and distortion. Uh, this can go both ways. You know, you know like I said, if, you've, if, if you go on Fox News' website or you go on CNN's website, you're looking at, at two different countries. But when it comes to Trump, it's just the way it's been covered going back to 2016 – it's just kind of insane. I'll give you one. I'll give you Go one. Go ahead. You tell me, ethical or unethical. Go ahead. Last week, a kid got killed here in the Heights, 18 years old, mm -hmm. uh, shot in the head. Mm -hmm. um, terrible tragedy. Mm -hmm. Fox 17 is on Facebook Live talking about the shooting before the body's even out of the car. You can hear the mother wailing in the background. You can see the community gathering around. The ki the body's not even out of the car yet. And there she stands going, well, I don't want to zoom in too much because the body's still in the car and everything. Ethical or unethical? It, it, it all depends. It depends on the length of time because I mean, it's one of those things. Because it's obviously a news story, right? It's newsworthy. I'll give you that. And it's you a news story. you got somebody on scene covering it. It's how long do you spend on it like at what point does it become gratuitous you know what i mean uh that would be that would be my potential issue with it it, it is a news story you have to cover it but how long do you do you stay on the scene instead of hey we've got you know just give them the nuts and bolts of what's going on um and uh we'll give you further details when we have them they stuck but with it just showing, if you just see if you're just sticking with it and, you know, and, and, do you have to like turn I the said, camera around and show the scene where the body's still in the car? No. Okay. Now, was do, this a Do you have to stick around and hear the mom in the background wailing and crying because her kid's dead? 
yeah, that. Do you like, have like to said, stick around and speculate? I'm like, telling I, you, dude, I, I blew up. I under, I, I was fit to be tied. I understand. That's I not that. right. It's a new story. And, and I'll give you that. Yeah. But you can what simply say, you know what? Today there was a, a shooting in Muskegon Heights or Muskegon or Grand Rapids or wherever. Right. We're going to look into it and um, and move on. It's one of those things, though. If 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 a news if a news organization has somebody on scene there, they want to get all the all the footage they can. Now, I agree, I would agree with you that you can linger too long, and it can become a little bit of a of a spectacle. And you you want to take the family into consideration, obviously. But I'm wondering. This is what I'm wondering: was it was it a young reporter? Yep. Was it somebody who was trying to you know, hey, this is my chance to break a story. I'm on the scene here. And maybe you may maybe a more more veteran news reporter would have covered it a little bit differently. I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I don't like to slam people too too hard for it, but I understand that side of it where you know what? Well we've got we've got a wailing mom here. We've got a family that's obviously distraught. Are are you exploiting this? So I get that. I get the I I get that angle of it. But uh, but going back to this whole this 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 course is going to be uh, it, it's going to be taught by a former CNN correspondent. So we'll see exactly how this is. You know, I, I don't know uh, what kind of angle they're going to take with this with this particular uh, course. I think it's it's definitely needed because you don't the idea of objective journalism is out the door at this point. Yeah. Like I said, local news. Local stories, is, it's completely different because you're dealing, you know, you, you're, you're, there's not really a bias to be shown with, with local people. They're talking about uh, 13, 8, Fox, 17. Uh, everybody's got their own way of covering stories, but you're not going to really necessarily see a slant a right. one way or the other. But when you're dealing with the, with the national media, it's completely different because it's, it's politics, specifically Trump 24-7 and how you cover him is going to be, you know, that, that kind of sheds a lot of light. And it goes back to the, when, who goes into journalism? Who goes into journalism? Answer that question. Me? Yeah, I'm asking uh, you. Uh, what, people with journalistic ideals. I don't know. What, no, what do you, what do you not want necessarily. Well, well, my point is, is it predominantly people, conservatives or liberals who go into journalism? It's more uh, liberals that go into journalism. I it's not know. even close. It's not even close. So you're going to get that kind of left, uh, left of center mindset. It's just understandable that that would be the case, because that's who goes into journalism. Conservatives, okay. you know, by and large, don't. Um, and that's one of the reasons you see things kind of covered from a certain perspective, and where you get other people feeling like they're either being left out or that there's a narrative that they don't particularly agree with. And I mean, let's be honest with Trump. And, and Trump's a buffoon. He's a cartoon in a lot of ways. Uh, but he's got 92% negative coverage since 2016 from the, from the major networks. Coverage has been 92% negative. When you look at where the economy is, uh, where uh, the job market is, where, you know, how things are going economically in this country, it, it seems to be a bit ridiculous that it's 92%. Now, when he says fake news, this is the problem is Trump says fake news for anything that's negative about it. It doesn't matter what it is. He's going to call it fake news. That's not accurate either. Uh, but yeah, they, there, there hasn't been objectivity in, in covering this. And I don't know that there could be quite honestly, because of the Thank emotions the that are wonderful philosophical uh, review. I, I mean, what do you think? I mean, do you think it's been object? Do you think the coverage of the, of the president has been objective? Uh, yes or no? I think he has reaped what he's shown. If you know what, if if you if you even look under the second page of the story of Donald Trump, he's a con man. He's he's a he's a he's a phony. He's a fake. He has spent a, a lifetime screwing people out of things, and these are comeuppance. You know, okay. these chickens have come home to roost. And you can be on the Trump train and you can believe what you want to believe about Donald Trump. And you can think he is, you can think he's the next guy to walk on water. I don't care. You know, whatever. But Why does it if have to you be do one or the just other? A, a hint of historical, honest, 
look looking back on Donald Trump, you can see he's he's a liar. He's a fake. He's a, he 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 he's gotten to where he has by screwing people, and it's not right. I'm not going to necessarily disagree man. with any of that. Uh, but can't two things be true at the same time? Can all that be true and him not be covered objectively? Because, you know, it, the, you look at anybody who's had any success in politics, you could say literally the same things about. Maybe not to the same extent in some areas, um, but, I mean, I mean, you compare the Clintons and, uh, and Trump, I don't see a whole lot of difference. Okay, well. I don't see a whole lot of difference at all. Can we move I'm on to the next story? You're at 15 yeah. minutes now, no. man. <laughs> okay. Well, well, no, I was just, I wanted to get I a get it, and I just told you my it. side of it. You know, if, if you at least put put forward, forth the effort to make it look like you're working for other people once in a while, maybe you'll get a little bit better coverage. So you think it, 92% negative coverage is is okay? <sighs> Honestly, I'm just... I'm, I want you on record. Like yeah, the coverage ninety two percent negative is fine. That's I, I wish they weren't covering him at all. On him, I, I, he's the president. You can't not. I can't. I, I wake up every day and I go, "This can't be real." Next story, please. <laughs> Finally, the sixty ninth annual Miss Michigan Scholarship Program gets underway tonight in Muskegon. Uh, you got a lot of stuff going on. We got the outstanding uh, teen competition that uh, starts at 7 p.m. Now the 2019 Miss Michigan program that's going to have the preliminary rounds seven o'clock Thursday and Friday. You got the finals and the crowning at uh, 7 p.m. Saturday. Of course, that all goes down at Froenthal. So yes, always good. Very exciting uh, stuff. Young ladies in Muskegon. So very cool. Very Finally, cool. sports. Uh, Golden State moves on to Game Six, the NBA Finals. They thwart Toronto's attempt. At an NBA championship, 106 to 105, Toronto still leads that series three games to two. Golden State will host game six. Cubs lose, Cubs lose, Cubs lose. They fall to Colorado, six to five. Tigers were off. That's sports. Have yourself a great Tuesday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.